Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Comic Talk. Today we're going to be looking at Batman and Robin, Batman Reborn, by Mr. Grant Morrison and Frank Quitely, and also uh, Philip Tan, who did the second talk, and it contains two story arcs. I don't know if we'll be going through both of them, because it depends on how long I get through the first story arc. I want this to be like a two-hour video, something at the most an hour, so we'll see how fast I go for the first one, and that's what we'll do you see if we get into the second story arc? Because previously I tried to do one by story arc anyway, so that work. Uh, Greg Morrison is the writer, and thank quietly and Philip, Philip Tom, uh, with Jason Gallopan, uh, the artist for the book. I didn't say his name on the front, but I don't think you need to. Um, just the three of between me and all this, so yeah. Let's jump into the first issue, um, issue one of Van and Robin, where we see um, a car racing down the street. And it has uh, some goons in it, and it looks like the police are chasing him, but they like blew up a bunch of police cars and stuff. And we have this one guy who's like a fist guy. They're going to escape, and we see a simple, simple exchange. It's like, it's a simple exchange, you said. But then they're like, oh, okay, this is a lot more quicker than we saw. And then, uh, we're going to be. And then Batman shows up in his super flying amazing car, what I've never seen before, I think, until this book. I don't know if I've seen this really cool before, but it's really cool. And it says Batman Reborn Part 1 and Domino Effect, that's the first issue of the story called Batman Reborn. Uh, this is when Dick Grayson took over the mantle as Batman, because Batman was presumed dead. It wasn't really, he got thrown back in time, and then eventually the, um, uh, what's his name? Boots the Gold, I think, uh, Green Lantern, Superman, and Rick, Hun Rick Hunter went back and saved him. So yeah, there was that. That was a pretty cool thing. So yeah, but right now, Dick Grayson is Batman, and we have uh, Damian Wayne as Robin, a little shittier. I mean, he's a little more shittier in the early days, so when he, until now, where he's a little more, got a little shittier. He's not complete, he's a complete shithead. But once in a while, he has this moment where you're like, yeah, why, why, why? Supposed to be a hero. And he's like, and, and Raymond's like, I told you it would work and stuff. And like, yeah, he shoots a little missile thing. He goes up on the car, boom, blows him up. Uh, blows it up in the car, just a little jump and just does the tires on fire. They start spinning. Uh, kind of like control and they keep hitting some stuff. And the Batmobile goes up and grabs it. And takes it out over like the uh, water, over by like the water, the ocean, and then you wrap it in it. And you see the one guy, the first guy, climbing out. Uh, you can see the first guy so he can survive in the water. And he has a um, briefcase or something, or a case, and he tries to take it out. And once he climbs up the top, Batman and Robin, and then they just sock him. And then there's a bunch of, they look what's in the case, it's a bunch of diamonds, obviously, leading to the name Diamond Effect in the, like what the story is, part of the story is called. And it shows them just hanging. Hanging him over the like out of the bat plane, like you gotta tell us what we need to know. And um, and then they drop him, and then he tells them, and then what they need to know, and then he drops him right where all the police are. So it's just like, and he's like, Professor Pig's gonna get yeah, Professor Pig's gonna get yeah, you wish you'd never been born, and all that kind of. Yeah, then we go to the back cave, and it seems to be a lot of it is um. Uh, has what we call it, uh, um, stuff over it, like it's preserved, like not using it anymore. And a lot of some of it looks destroyed, probably from some events or something that happened in comics that I don't know about. Because, like I said, I do not know everything. I can't, I won't, I probably never will know everything. But hey, I can, I know a good, and he takes a picture of Bruce, it looks like a Bruce, and it's either Bruce, I think it's Bruce and Dick, right? It's not, yeah, Bruce, Dick, the dog, and outfit together, and then they leave and go. I see Thomas and Martha Wayne stashing the books back. Uh, I think who does? I think that's uh I'm gonna say that's uh Dick does as they leave and go to this new like giant like mansion not mansion but um tower with another base and underground they have like all the bat plane and all the bat stuff, bat train, bat plane, because they still have the bat train. Cause we need the bat train. How often do you like to the bat train? Not often ever mostly just to the Batmobile or the Batplane but everything else is like we might need them we might need to stop a train do a train thing so yeah always good to have him see an outfit is doing um like 
um, like helping, uh, uh, bringing up some like drinks and stuff, and doing what Alfred does. And then we see Robin is walking on the bat car or bat plane. He's walking on that. Robin is trying to kind of fix some out. They're not um, thinking out what's going on, and then they both get ready and they get their mats on and they leave to go um, on the next mission. And then we go to cut to a carnival, and we see um, some stuff going down there. And then we see the one guy, the one guy who got captured, just got captured. The fifth guy, and complaining. As friend, his name is Mr. Toad. Makes sense. That makes sense. Now Mr. Toad, he looks like Toad. And then we see um, car coming. It's a bunch of like circus people in it. And Batman and them are going off. Uh, because I think Batman, uh, they put up the crystal going and turned on the bat signal to let them know that hey, come on, come here. And it happened to they come to where the bat signal is to see like that crystal going, what's going on. And then the car pulls up, I find with all the people from the carnival in it. And one of the guys like help, he's like help, help me, my head's on fire. And they go up to him like, oh what, oh his head's on fire, we need to go help him. And particularly that's like his power or whatever, so it doesn't hurt, really hurt him. So he's like, and then he grabs the officers and just, I uh, light them, uh, nope, does not show he lights them up in this issue, uh, does not show if he kills them, we'll have to see in the next issue, but he might have probably killed them, probably killed them, and then we see, um, uh, look at this other guy, packing up all this stuff, and leaving, and, and, um, uh, and then they open the door, this guy and this girl, they open the door and this guy kind of falls in and he's like, like, Papa, what's going on? And then he fades to black and we see the dad uh, tied up here and we see the presser pig, the guy, he's the guy with the pig mac and looks like he's from a slaughtering house. It all those girls here and they put this mask on and we have the stuff coming off it and they're gonna do some effed up shit to him and then, um, and then the girl is watching all this horrific stuff happen to her dad, and she's like screaming. And then the first pig is like, "We'll make this happen to you too." And that's where the fifty strands next in Battle Lab in the circus of strength. That's the fifty strands. It tells a couple panels of stuff that's probably coming in the next issue. So that is the first issue. So now we're gonna jump on to issue two, a um, Batman Reborn Part Two. And then where does it say? The Circus of Strengths, and um, pretty cool. So let's jump into it. We got um, Batman sitting here talking to Alfred. May I ask what happened, Mr. Richard? He asked him to come. We have to know, and it shows Robin's bass on the ground. Is Robin, what happened to Robin? Did Robin die? We'll have to find out. Uh, so Sam coming down to talk to Commissioner Gordon. Definitely. And they find out more stuff about the circus stuff, so it's so. Do and they go like um downstairs and because they I think they have another like hey uh, the guys are gonna come from Mister's hole they need to free him kill him or something I think that's what the deal is so they go down there to go stop him like but they see him going downstairs and they see the guy on fire coming in and just attacking him ends up burning him and obviously killing him as we can see so cops are dying but the fat lady comes out obviously that that fat always a fat lady at the carnival and she's a bazooka. Or something into this thing and it looked like it leaves a lot of smoke or something. And we see a bunch of other guys come in who are like all stuck. It looks like a bunch of guys who are like stuck to, or morphed together. Like uh, one, two, three, three guys who are like morphed like, into one or fused into one. And Robin and Batman shot and Robin goes to kind of take these guys. He's getting on the one form. And, and then Batman tells Robin to step aside as he um, jumps in and beats him. And it's like, what a, it goes in, beats, Batman comes in, beats the shit out of these guys. He's in like, what about the fat one? And like, the fat guy taking on this guy, I guess, to don't tell, didn't tell, tell. It's, it was like, didn't tell, tell your ass fans. And he did, well, he did. And we see Robin coming in, like, okay, I can take her. Just the fat skinny. It wasn't bad, okay? And it looks like they barely did anything, like, he barely even felt it. And he hits Robin, and he hits, and he hits the wall really hard. And Batman's fighting the flaming dude with the flaming head. And then the guys, the multiple guys, uh, who are stuck there, get back up and start to fight. Batman gets hits 
hits the other guy because the fire extinguisher, so the multiple guys, like together, and the guy on fire, he like shoots a fire extinguisher out, so it kind of like puts him out. Like Robin, where the hell are you? And he's fighting, Robin's fighting the fat guy, and the fat girl, and she's getting, he's getting a little, doing good, he breaks like his hand or something. Looks a little gross now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it looks a little gross. Like, you see like the bones, ugh, looks like a little gross. Like, you see the bones on her skin, look like cracks in weird ways, ugh, weird. And give us a glance, like, what the hell is that going on? It's like, Robbie, they're going to take Toad, and we need to stop these guys. So he ties up these guys, and he stops the flaming line, he ties up these guys. And it's like, you figure out what's going on. And, like, this is, Richard is telling this to, uh, four cops kill six severely injured. So a lot of people were happen, and it was a disaster. And you're like, it was a disaster. Outfit. Even though, like, you're saying these cops, like, you something you could have done. You were there, you got there, you went down there as soon as new stuff was going on like you couldn't have you couldn't have done much <laughs> and then we see the fat person and Robin beating the Peter and then Batman's like enough you're going too far you need to stop this and then we see Toad and he, he realized he croaked and it seems like he's dead so you won't find anything out about that but then they go back to the base and everything like hunky dory Robin kind of gets pissed at Batman and like basically take off his badge like I'm gonna like, do my own thing and that's the that's what happened and then then we jump to Robin trying to solve this on his own or trying to do his own thing and then Batman and um, Rick, Richard to Grayson and um what can call it uh Alfred having a talk and them kind of getting like okay I'm gonna go and find him and then he, Robin goes to the carnival and we see this girl He's like, help, he's tied up on this thing, and he looks freaking awful. They did some weird shit to him, because the piggy had these masks, and he puts them on, and like, you can't really get them off without, like, ripping your skin off. That was really fucked up stuff. But, yeah, it's really messed up and completely fucked up shit. It's, like, really messed up, this is. But it's just, like, Grand Morrison books, I'm like, I'm used to Grand Morrison doing fucked up shit. He's trying to, in his warehouse, I'm kind of not okay, you're doing weird or fucked up shit. There's some, I've seen some of that. And all these girls who look the same, they might not be girls, some might be guys, but they're all like the same thing, they all look exactly the same. Like getting up on Robin and beating him, and then the, uh, this, um, other guy somewhere. That, and it's like the hour after the pig has come, and we see this other one, like, pull a grenade or something, and they blow up somewhere, so stuff's going on, maybe all over town, or at least some places, some shit's going down. And we see Batman riding in his motorcycle. I uh, wonder if it's like a jeep, it's like a jeep or something, and that's where the second issue ends. Next Batman Robin, mm, Mummy's Made of Nails, Mummy's Made of Nails, and so some stuff we're gonna have in the next issue. Is Robin gonna die? Is Batman gonna die? Who knows? Find out in the final parts of this story arc. In part 3, where well, we see Batman Reborn, part 3, Mummy Made of Nails. So Batman on his vehicle, uh, looks like a, what's called, Doom Buggy or motorbike or whatever the whatever this thing's called and he um this thing you can call it like mo I, I i feel like i know the name because I, I know people who had them and stuff from like dead bikes not dead bikes um whatever they are something i can't remember the name but he's taking the guy who's on fire one of the colonies and just dragging him on the ground like i can't find space like he's like inches away from the pavement like you're gonna get killed if you don't just do what i say ask me for where i need to go he takes him back, and then he gets the information on where he needs to go. And see Robin with Professor Piggy, who is a complete psychopath. But and I like, I, I don't know, I like the way in this book how he's done, like how he's like, he puts on some music, some uh, sexy disco. He, he starts dancing around, it's all really creepy and weird, and it's really, it's, it's all putting. He like takes, he's like pulled off his shirt and stuff. It's just really creepy and weirdly sexual, and, and just weird. And that's like. Yes, give me the more weird, give me the weird, give me the, uh, crazy, and we see, um, about to put a mask on Robin to do the same thing. So Robin, obviously, is awesome, because he was chained by the League of Assassins, so, there's a little rope that's going to stop him, and he gets out and hits, um, Professor Piggy and starts attacking them, and starts viciously attacking them. And he attacks Professor Piggy, and then Batman shows up, to stop one of the, he's going around and stopping, one of the, the person with an explosive has an explosive thing, so I have to pull it. Batman stops him but finds out it's empty. 
and then he finds out that these creatures have like gems or something, and they're gonna spread something that way. And Batman attacks the Robin is attacking the other guys. Gets the one go free and tells her to run. I'll stay with you. I promise. I'll help you. And then he's like, and then he's like, leave my leave my dad alone. And he puts him basically on fire. A pig guy prints a pig, and he's like staying alive. He's like runs out, runs out onto this like a uh, which we call it uh, uh um, runs out onto this uh thing. Um, what a roller coaster! Just the one, like two seater roller coaster. You get on, and the girl gets attacked. And she's like, "You promise you won't leave me." The Robin is getting like attacked by this guy, and then uh, he gets here. They get down to the ground. Got the roller coaster goes off track, and he like basically is about to. Um, the, the guy with the pickaxe about to like basically be. He hits Robin, then he's about to beat him again. Robin comes in, and knocks him out, and he runs away. And then he hits like this wall. Or something, and then Batman and Robin come on and just smack him on the head, and the smack gets turned off. And then Batman starts fighting, and Robin starts fighting these other ones. And and then Robin's like, "There's a girl. We need to find her. Uh, whatever." They go around, uh, get uh, figure out what's the deal. Get the virus. Get the thing to stop the germs or the virus or whatever's going on. Get that. Tied up the bad guy with the pig mask. So he gets thrown in jail. Got the thing with the diamonds. Uh, you know how to reach us, and he's like, here's the answer that you know how to reach us or something. I we see all these guys who are completely, who are fucked up, and he says, uh, face of, and he says, oh dear god, the face of coming off its mask. Cause they're like, on it, so they're like, you can't just take them off without taking off the face. It is freaking horseshit, it's awesome. He's the guy behind bars, piggy, he's like, ha, 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 like, yeah, I win. <laughs> it's like, kind of like, I win, like, yeah. The Batman and Robin basically are and so I'm breaking into another thing to stop to some guys who look like they're robbing something. Yeah, it looks like maybe was it uh let's say where uh where does it say they're breaking in? It does not say, but they break into some place and Batman will just stop. It's kind of like an ending of the story, thing like, hey, some guys are breaking in, we just can't burst there's a bursting in and that's where it ends. And so outfit with some pictures and he has them up. And it's just him, like, it's kind of like, you see me, you see standing on a guard goal. You know what it is, yeah. We come to the next page, and then we see, at the hospital, we see the one goal. Um, who was the one who was, uh, the one goal who was saving, uh, who Robin tried to save, so sort of killing this guy. Uh, the doll people, and she's, like, killing him or something. And then the two cops die. And she feels, kind of doesn't know what to say, and... It's weird. If I want to help, so I only get. You have anything else planned? Come with me. I'll help you do whatever. It's like next battle, Robin. You've been to the Red Hood. Can we see Red Hood in this weird outfit? And then we see like a domino thing going on. So yeah, this is the end of the first story arc, Batman Reborn. The first story arc is the first three issues. Pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Not too much. It was a pretty simple story arc. Some fucked up things happen to these kids. The Batman has to come in and stop. Have to stop them, save them. It's like up to I want to see kids to look like it was people as well. Just a lot of things screwed up things happen, and yeah. So we're gonna jump into. I think we're just gonna jump into. Are we gonna jump into the next story arc, or are we gonna save that for another time? Uh, you know what? It kind of continues, and I feel like doing it. We're gonna jump into issue number four. What is the next story arc? Is called Revenge of the Red Hood, Part One, Red right hand this is the next part of the story arc this is a villain uh who doesn't see i'm looking for since who his name is uh don't get we got lightning bug who seems to be the name of the villain seems like a lot of stupid villain back then looks that stupid but he looks like he's about to kill somebody and then we see the batman show up and he's like oh you're trying to run away with the money but obviously batman and them are going to stop them but and if we see here he runs away and it seems like Batman does not get to him. We see, we see Red Hood and his accomplice come here and basically just kills him. Like, because Red Hood and his and the, the girl basically are now the um, basically they like Batman and Robin, but you just hey, we're gonna murder the criminals instead of saving them. So this guy, this villain, gets basically just like uh, let's see, shot, and then he's like he's shot, he's bleeding, and that's shooting again. He holds out the window, and then he's like. 
And the whole place gets burned up. Gets burned up and the guy falls out the window. And the guy dies, obviously. And there's an explosion, money goes everywhere. Bad man gets this thing, a card that says, Vengeance, vengeance on against his red right hand. He doesn't know. Uh, Find out who are these people and we see the red hood in the skull and I go who I've been saved in the first one. Um go out there after the burning city and then we go cut to Bruce Wayne like at a gathering with Damien. Like you know, being his Bruce because he has to put on the persona. Not Bruce Wayne, but that's like a he took over or is walking kinda of now. He's like the the Lance and the Playboy now. It's kinda of weird to think of. I don't I I could never see Dick Grayson as a Playboy. I could see him as like the little like as an entourage or something, but not for if it was a play where so Sam like talking. See the guy come up who's wearing this mask and everything. It looks like a straight up criminal. And go go and see her talking to him, so I think he has some at least he thinks he's credible, but I don't think so. The guy comes up with like a full on mask and these red eye things. It's like yeah. I wonder if they could guess. This guy's a villain. This guy's gonna be a later villain in the series, or gonna become a bad guy, or maybe he's not she does fight us all. Then we cut to the red hood and the girl's uh, face. The one, oh, that's a good face. But the red hood and the girl's hideout. And I wonder, uh, the red hood, and I wonder if I want to look at it says who the name of the girl is, because I would like to actually know that. Red hood and Scarlet. So her name is so she's going by the name Scarlet. You can call him. Red hood and Scarlet are at the base, at their base, their hideout. Kind of figure out what's going on. She doesn't really know who that is. They put some stuff on, I guess, maybe to help us see or something. Another man on mask, and then we find out Batman and Robin. But well, I'm looking for, like, kind of figure out what's going on. And it seems like, uh... And then, uh, it seems like Robin has a little bit... Um, they are spying in on this mission of this, like, a meeting where a bunch of bad guys are. We have Cowboy Pot, who's the only one I know, I think, of the team. I'm kind of looking for somebody else. Anybody else I recognize? I don't know if I know I recognize anybody else. Um, anybody else I don't recognize? I think it does say in the back who they are. Uh, the Gotham Gangsters, which who most of them are, except for like the Penguin. But they're basically just Gotham Gangsters. That's what they seem to be, just Gangsters and Gotham. A couple of them have little bit of outfits, some of them don't. Bad and Robin are going in to uh, stop them, or break up whatever's going on. And we see the Red Hood appear and start attacking them, start killing them. Basically starts killing them all on the scholar and about to kill um uh Carpa and he's like going to battle like Batman, you need to stop this guy, he's a insane lunatic. Red Hood and Scarlet said and then and obviously Batman comes in and he's like Jason because he knows he's Jason freaking Todd and then we go on to the issue ends with let the punishment fit the crime. Next, Batman and Robin, Scarlet. And it, I like how it has these couple of channels here at the bottom that kind of show you, like, hey, this is what's kind of, kind of like stuff to say, hey, this is kind of showing you some stuff that could like, happen in the next issue. Um, I really like that. And I like this, uh, this second story arc is cool, the end of Red Hood. And then, uh, Red Hood's a like cool character, and Adam. And they, they're doing a cool story with them, and then we jump to the second issue, second part. So it's about, like, it looks like about the girl and her past, and. We'll see what's going through and stuff. What we'll see is doing in this uh, called Revenge of the Red Hood Part 2, which is called Scarlet. And so it's them fighting Batman and Robin, and they're trying to protect uh, uh, what's called the Penguin, and he shoots out. He's trying to escape. He won't really get me, and so he shoots out. He uses his um, umbrella as like a gun, and it shoots out the window and jumps out. And But Robin throws a Batman, and it hits his thing, so he just like falls. And probably like hits, and he falls and like hits the ground. It falls, hits the car, like rolls off into the side, like yeah. Well, I'm surprised he's not freaking dead. He always looked like he was beat. In the last issue, you could definitely tell the blood and stuff. He was already beaten pretty badly, and then he did that. I'm surprised. Damien knows killed him, but also that's like he's Damien. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did kill him. Like that's something I'm not too surprised about. But yeah, and they are going to uh, try to stop the. Robin tries to stop Jason and she just gets here. Look out, Batman and them. They have a little fight. And then, like, he has them in the corner. So, he, like, he hits a card and then they leave. Like, basically, they have Robin. Like, I'm gonna kill him if you don't, like, stop this and let's go. They go, leave a card. Um, find out, like, most of the guys. So, we get a den. 
or really badly hurt. And you see that, uh, what's it called? The uh, cow part is still alive, thank you, I'm surprised. And Batman and them off, they get to have a talk with him about what's going on. You see pictures of like Batman and Robin basically trying to shield the Joker, and that's what the Red Hood is trying to do make them look like the bad guys. Shield, I said the Joker, shield the penguin. Like, hey, we're shielding this gangster mob that we're protecting him. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And so, yeah. And there's some stuff on the news, and then we see Batman and Robin come home, and they get to eat, uh, relax for a little bit, have some breakfast, and see what's going on. And then, um, let the. And so, how many people are born? Like, hey, it's a Batman and the. Does left the punishment fit the crime 43% to 57%? No, it's 43% and yes, 57%. Uh, this is about, I guess, how Batman or something is treated. Or, like, what do they think of Batman? Does he the punishment fit the crime and that kind of thing? Okay, so, let's go on back in the base, or uh, left in the base, what's up to the sky? Uh. This guy who I think might be the father to the girl, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm looking if it says, I think it's the father, or at least one of the guys who would. That girl used to be a part of, I think it was maybe the father. Then him, it says Red Hood without the mask, and she finally gives him without the mask. And uh, her, and then like, just having all the real conversation, and it goes to, um, we see a, uh, like a, they go into a, um, this plane, and we see a bunch of dead girls. Seems to be scrippers or something, and one of them, uh, his face, one of the girls' face was cut off, completely like cut off. And you see it on like this plate here. And it's, this book has some pretty graphic imagery and stuff. It's really some fucked up shit. And, oh, they're almost dead. What else is on this? It's like really went fucked up shit. And then we see on that them doing it to this other guy, pouring some stuff bleach in his uh, I want to call this in the hospital. He's pouring or something, pouring bleach into like a IV thing. And they're trying to kill him. And Batman and Robinson is trying to stop them. Probably just like cute. And, they get into a fight, Robin gets hurt bad, but they're still like kicking it. Yeah. Basically, they knock out Batman and Robin, and basically knock them down, and they take them hostage, they keep them, take them hostage, and they take them down to the secret base and hide them somewhere. But then, a light shines, and we see a new character up here. It's, and we see a new guy coming up in a motorcycle with a whip. Nick Spanner Robin, Flugans is here. Uh, the that what his name is? Flamungus? Flamingus, Flamingus? Flamingus? We'll call him Flamingus. This guy. That is his name, Flamingus. Put it up on the screen. Maybe if I do, because there's someone in the middle of the video, but we'll see if I do that. If I do, so maybe that's what I'm gonna call him. This is what he looks like uh, in the book. Yeah, he's a cool character. And uh, this is Revenge of the uh, Red Hood, part 3. Flamingus is here. It sees Batman and Robin are tied up. And obviously they are out of costume, so if they do something, like the video could go out, and so, you know, tonight, game is simple, da da, we have to do things, we have to pick up, hold this number, do whatever, and you guys are gonna be, once this goes live, everybody's gonna know who you guys are. You're gonna be out there for the world to see, and that's not good. We see Flamingo, he's here, and he's fighting us. So we get that with like a little prude dude, like say, hey, this is where Batman and Robin are, it's where they're captured, and what's going on with them. But so it's Red Hood and Scarlet fighting this Flamingo guy. Where is he? Well, I don't know why he's. I'm assuming he's either another gangster or mobster. And all the guys like, hey, you killed the bag of something, and I'm gonna here to stop you guys. Or you guys are killing all the bag. Like, yeah, he's just attacking him. I'm like, if it says like why he's here, it does seem to be as of yet. Then it's like why he's here, but says Batman and Robin like, oh, sorry. And that was like, you have to call if you got all oh, you on Batman's side and everything. Oh, you have to call this number. I'm looking, I'm looking what it says about the uh, can you wait to know? to call and whatever and they call and see Batman and Robin. But they are back in the costumes, they are as they call out a call, do whatever where they get the line or do whatever to do the thing to get the video. People get the video to see Batman and Robin, they are just in their costumes and they are trying to escape. And they get to talk to Alfred and stuff and they are trying to figure out how to escape and see something goes attacking them. It's doing some pretty major damage to Red Hood and uh, the guy was weird because Jason Todd is still, he was a Robin, he was trained by Batman. Although he shouldn't be this weak, like he seems like he's a little weak here, but I'm not sure how tough this guy is. The guy could, could be completely badass to my knowledge, I'm not sure, I don't think he is, but he's doing pretty good, he's about to kill, and I was like, 
And he's like, I'll come back. Did you see me? I'll come back. Because he came back one before one. Doesn't mean it's going to happen again. But the missile thing goes through and blows up. The bicycle that he was uh, riding in on. F.C. Robin shoots like a bazooka. And then we see Batman coming in and just kicks him. And Batman starts to fight. Batman starts to fight him. And then they go off the side here. And they get into a pretty. And Batman goes off the side here. Uh, he gets back up, and he's trying to figure out a way to get back up. And Robin is helping, is uh, fighting the flamingo guy. But Batman's trying to get up while he's hitting this girl. And he, and the guy, like, shoots Robin in the back and stuff. Doesn't kill him, obviously. But it looks like it does. And then Batman is fits to climb, and she jumps and attacks him. And Jake we just attack him, like, splits him, like, cuts him really bad in the face, on the neck. He's bleeding out. And the guy gets hit by a big truck. One of those trucks, um, what's it called? With the big, like, scoop thing, where it scoops, like, the dirt. Like, fish. And it's like, he gets hit by that. Like, pulling down this thing and hits him. And it hits him, and he gets badly injured. And we see the hood in Batman, so, whatever. And then he gets, he, he, then he, like, takes that, dumps it off the side, and he falls down. Probably his death. I think he comes back in comics, but since that's in New 52 or Rebus. I don't know how much that follows this, so I'm not too worried about that. But we see Robin, because like Robin, Robin's still pretty badly beat up, and, and uh, what's more called Jason? like, I'm pretty badly beat up too, don't tell me to do this, like, I Jason, you're a mess, everything's a mess, you need to stop, let's help you, and he's like, he's basically like, nah, I can't be helped, I can't be helped, this is not, I, I am what I am, I can't be changed, eventually you don't get changed, the better, because I've heard, a lot of good things about the new uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws book. Um, the new one in Rebirth that sounds amazing. I need to read that at some point. Um, you know, before that, Red Hood and the Arsenal, or whatever that was called. Eh, it looks okay, but I'm not. Like, I mean, they really have this quest in the world. A lot of quests and stuff in that book. But it was bringing him on and making him like an anti hero. And now he feels more like a jet hero almost. Now you mean an anti hero. But Crystal Golden comes in and they take this guy and they take him in. He brought, he's like, you brought me back and everything, you can't kill me, I can just be brought back. He's like, easy Batman, selling all this, like, stuff to throw Batman, to get Batman really mad. He's like, you need my back to see him? Like, no, I'm fine. And they take Robin and I guess put him, try to find a partner. He's like, we need to find this partner. And so you see your partner, the girl, glides away and she's gone, but then we see the Max falls off, whatever the Max is, it fell off for it. So now she's running around without a face, what seems even creepier than her ugly freaking face he has right here with the mask on. That's what the face looks like with the mask on. Then the mask falls off, as well to me, so skin falls off as well. So she's a freaking sight for sore eyes now. I see the one guy in the mask who was talking to Batman at the um, at the gathering at the uh, Spencer Lace. So it's like, yes, this guy seems to be. And says so he's talking to another guy. Who I don't know what I want to say. I'm going to say about that group, I don't think that's who this is. But somebody, I don't know who it is. But another guy, looks like a And we see Batman going, uh, Dick Grayson going down this hallway from his tower that's probably on the ground. He enters this code, goes through the secret thing, and we find it is, looks like Batman. Bat, is it Batman's body? Batman's real body is here, it's secretly here. So people can't do shit to it. I do not know what the deal is, but yeah, it's like next. And Batman and Robin, Black at Night. But actually, I've read Black at Night. There is a next. I think it's next. Batman and Robin, Black at Night. So Batman and Robin is a part of Black at Night. That's what I'm gonna think about. What the, what's, what is the Black at Night thing? So it's next Batwoman. What was the prize for showing her? Because I know Batman had his own. Like, Batman of this era, Batman, there's a book called Batman. It's a free part series about Black at Night. Batman, Black at Night. Black Knight Batman is a free ball me that I have it, so it's like, so what's this? Gonna show some of the other characters, like maybe like, uh, not Jason Todd, but like, um, that one looks like, and maybe some other characters. I don't know, but it's great, great. And that's the end for this first volume of Batman and Robin. And we jumped into some stuff at the end with shows of, like, um, comps at all and cover stuff. But, uh, covers of stuff the, about the covers and stuff of this book. What I really do enjoy, like, seeing, like, just cover designs. And, just, I like Bonifer too, I like it's always fun to see like how stuff starts out and then we have stuff like characters like Batman and the characters so that's something really cool to see like these cool character designs for stuff it's really awesome character designs and that's where this book ends this is it doesn't say volume 1 but this is Batman and Robin Batman well, it's basically the first volume of Grand Morphin's run on Batman and Robin 
Sweet! We are finished. I did the whole book and it took me about less than I thought I did. I don't go into probably as much detail as some other people. I went into enough detail where you know, like at least uh, you should know a little bit more about what's going on in this book. So you know what's going to get out and you still, since I don't go into too much, I don't go like super isolated every little detail and like, oh they're doing this. Do I give you, basically give you like an overrun of like, hey this is what's going on in the book. This is what's happening. This stuff that happens. Okay, Batman Robin, Batman Reborn, if you do not. If you want to check this out, go check it out. I don't know if this is, this is a DC comic. I don't know if it's like the newest volume of this. Uh, the one they have now. I'm looking when this came out. Uh, does this have a date? To when this specific book came out. Uh, the date I see, it looks like 2011. So it came out 2011. So you might not. I don't know if this is like the current copy. Current. This is what the current copy of this book looks like. But still, great book. Want to check it out. Go give it a read. It's fun. If you like Grand Morrison. You like Batman, I like Grandma's and Batman, great. And and playing Quan Me, who just first three issues of this, but great and he does the covers. I think for all of them. I mind, he does the covers for all of them. He does like all the main covers for all of these books. For all six issues of this, and he does the first three issues in two year art. And then the next three issues have uh full of ten on that, which is actually not too bad either. So yeah, Batman Robin, Batman Porn, go check it out, it is awesome by Grand Morrison. Think quickly and flip pan. So thank you guys for watching the video. If you want to see more uh, videos, check out. There'll be another episode of Comic Talk on Tuesday. I'm gonna not tell you what it is. All I'm gonna say is gonna be a big generation. This is gonna be a big generation of stuff happening on that day. A book that has all I'm gonna say it has to do with it's a generations book. I won't tell you which one, but on Tuesday there will be generations. We'll be talking about a generations book. So stay tuned for that. And you guys can always make sure you check out my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, all the stuff down in the description box below this video. You guys can also just like, favorite, and subscribe to make sure you notify when I give episodes of Comic Talk or other videos. You guys can always stay epic, and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.